Okay, welcome back. We are now looking at Gal. Wonderful. So, uh, what are we necessarily looking at over here? We do have a falling wedge or a triangle, if you would. Seemingly playing out right now, which we don't have our one level. We are missing a level. There we are. Everything is right now. So what? Oh, why can't I get the wick? There we are. Oh, no, I didn't get it. Anyway, basically what we're looking at right here is that you do have like a falling wedge or a descending triangle, whatever you want to freaking call it. Uh, you do seem to be having that playing out. We are getting a pump up right now and assuming that we are able to get back to this like 5 level right here, which is at about $1.51, then um, with opening closures above there, I would imagine that you do end up breaking through this and that where we just wicked out of it really was a fake out. We end up coming back on up and then at the very least we would be looking for this 382 right here which is at about $2.71, which if you are curious, let's say if we were to go from there, that is at about 127% gain from where we are right now, which the measured move for that too is, just to show you guys, roughly like this. So if we put the breakout from about 130, that gets you right up to that 382. And yeah, anyway, um, yeah, so other than that, there's really not too much else that I necessarily need to say about this It does look more bullish if anything because you are coming down from like the lows slash like kind of like a demand area To a degree, but uh, you can see at least Compared to the view from the like open you went down slightly more And then same thing again here. So Other than that bias is a bit more towards the upside right now um, you need to firstly really get above that one three five seven or that six one eight which is at one dollar thirty five seven um, And yeah, so other than that none of this is financial advice These are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios muchachos